This video is for Chad and Chris. I uh, I was talking to Chad about he was asking me about modulars a few weeks ago, and I said that the best I think the one of the best ways to get into them is this tool called VCV Rack, which is now on version two, and alongside version two, they released a premium version so so you can see at the top bar it says vcv rack free 2.0.3 i think there's probably a lot of tutorials out there that'll do a good job um, i i just watched one though and it it didn't seem to it said beginner and it made a lot of assumptions that the beginner knows uh, certain things so I thought it it actually I saw a purpose behind doing this this short video. What one thing to notice when it when you install it and and fire it up is it gives a rack full of stuff. So you got to figure out how to delete all those blocks because you're going to you won't know how anything works if you start from that. But it it's it's good for playing around and maybe if I can load it up after I don't know how to get it back, but it looked like the the template that was the uh, starter. So and to and the other disclaimers, I actually do, I haven't really used the program much, but I I should be good to to um, give a better in, a introduction. The audio module is your sound card. So audio and there's audio eight and there's audio sixteen. In this video, I'm just using audio. Um, and let's see if I can go back. So I right I right clicked to do that. I have it set to loop back because that's the tool that's helping me make this video. But you would set it to your sound card that you're using. Okay. So a a VCO is an oscillator, and that's going to give us a pitch sound. And we will control that pitch using um, there's an input here that's called v one one v slash octave pitch input which is means one volt and we're gonna soon get that pitch coming in from the keyboard of our, our qwerty keyboard and then it's going to send audio into a mixer and then we will send that mixer into the sound card. We could, yeah, you could technically put this directly into the sound card, but the, it'll blast the sound. That's the problem with not just modular synths, but modular synth software in general is you have to be careful. You, especially wearing headphones, you could blast your ears with sound. So everyone, there's no way around it. It's going to happen to you, no question. So I'm going to use VCA mix, which means voltage controlled amplifier. So it, it will, um, the VCA, it mean, it's an amp, an amplifier, but it can respond to voltage control. And therefore we can shape the sound with that voltage control. I know that must be Greek language but let's um so let's what we'll do is we'll turn the volume all the way down on the channel one and we will take the saw so, so this oscillator has uh, four types of waveforms that come out of it uh, an oscillator on its own in a store for our hardware uh, is probably at least a hundred to two hundred dollars alone so this rack is probably valued at three <laughs> three hundred dollars plus the the rack system that would like with the power chips um provides power to the modules maybe this is a five hundred dollar synth off the bat and this is free in virtual form so i'll go it goes in here and we can see there's energy going through and so that's our first warning that we better be careful and that's why we have that volume on zero. And then 
this is the output, but I think there's the mix is also a valid output, but we're going to just do channel one to the sound card. And let's turn up the volume so you can hear it already. And then if I want to make it stereo, I think I do it this way. I probably didn't hear any difference. And then now we can control the frequency. What does pulse width do? Can't hear any change there. FM? No. So a lot of the changes on this are going to happen by putting uh, voltage into these other areas. So it's the VCO is kind of a dumb, a dumb object, but it's the it's the root root of all most of the synthesis. The only other way we can get sound is either through our our sound card with a microphone or a guitar or uh, something that plays back wave files. So VCOs are useful starting point. VCOs. Not to confuse you, but they can also control things as well. <laughs> uh, and that's what a LFO refers to as a low frequency oscillator. When we when we take this voltage all the way down so low, it can it's 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 valid for um, controlling other stuff. I might even just do that now while we're here because of, uh, let's see if I'm correct. So I'll take the sine wave out of here and I'm going to put it in the FM of this frequency modulation. Turn this up. Ooh, it's doing something. So too high and it's going doing too much. Slow it down. Ooh. We haven't even touched the filter yet. Um, so that's that's just an example of how a VCO has two can have two functions, but this tool has a has an LFO which is which does that for you um, in terms of it's limited it, it limits that so let's see let's take the triangle and let's do that again it's See the frequency is is below goes up well goes up high um, but and the lower frequencies we can get it to do stuff so that's LFO but the in the thing we need <laughs> I've already distracted everything um, but what the useful thing here is to get the We want the keyboard input, so that's MIDI and CV. So the MIDI is coming from the computer keyboard. So um, th this is the most important thing about, I would say, about modular stuff in general, synths in general, is that when you hit a key on a keyboard, whether it's a QWERTY keyboard or a music keyboard, two things happen at the same time. One is there's the gate, which is the on and off of the whole thing, and otherwise known as like uh, kind of like give me volume when you hit the keyboard, and then the other is what pitch did I hit? So 
I think this will give us, so this V, the voltage goes into the pitch and uh, let's just turn on our oscillator again. I'm gonna hit key, keys on the keyboard. So it's changing the, the um, I'm hitting the F, G, H key. It's changing the note, but um, it's not turning off the sound. So that's why we take the gate and we're going to, I think we'll put it in this VCA mix of this channel. So sound is off until I hit a key. And so that's, I would say, the most key thing. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, now, so now that that's in place, I can do, like, let's say I bring that LFO back and I get the triangle wave and I put it in the F frequency modulation. From there, I mean, um, let's look at this list. There's this, this is where the rat's nest starts to uh, go nuts, is that there's a sequencer, which will make the bleepy bloopies. Uh, and then there is, uh, I would say, the, the messy modulars that you see people have is what happens is they get into, like, all kinds of stuff with splitting it and and... Yeah, these other operations that happen and that's why a virtual rack is so good because you can learn the the ins and outs and then when you if you ever want to build a real modular you'd be like ah I know exactly the modules I I know and I what I'm going to use and let's uh, these are also just the modules that come with the program but they have uh, I think you can make an account and, and get other ones from other developers I'd say just learn the some of the core things and what was the last thing I wonder oh the biggest the thing that makes a synthesizer nice typically is the filter that's what I'm looking for I think that's called a VCF so the audio will come so the VCF comes in before in it's like a wah-wah pedal, right? So let's take the so the output does no longer goes into here. Uh oh. I wanna just remove the cable. I think I don't know how to delete the cable, but I will put this out into the into the VCF and then where is the output? I guess this is the output, and then I'll put it into here. And now, so yeah, um. Some things that I would maybe want to look into doing is how to turn the LFO off. So that would be nice. That's often what you get on a synth is you just turn it off if it's not needed. And I would also want to uh, smooth out um, when I hit a key um, using a... Uh, ADSR helps smooth out uh, clicks and stuff like that and also makes uh, for things like pad sounds you can slowly it takes control of, of how fast things come in and, and so that would be one of the things I would look at next and then scope is how you can see the waveform and you can get get some data on it Anyways, this is probably a good start. So see if you can 
try some of these things out 